Welcome back to the Old Dominion Monarchs. And there is your thumbnail today. It's going to be stopping Josh Jackson, the 99 overall senior quarterback for Virginia Tech. Whew. Let's get at it today. It's Virginia Tech's first game at home. Our first trip up to Blacksburg. Let's get it. So, I mean, I guess this is good for us. There's Josh Jackson, 99 overall quarterback. It's followed in suit by a 98 overall kick punter and a 92 overall kicker. So where our boys right here, Blake Ashley, leads the team, leads the sheets. Look at all that ODU blue. Should be more, but we'll take it. And Noah Eliason grabs it. He'll get a 30 and a first. He got one step and that's all he needed. What a big catch. And, oh, he's still on his feet. Oh, no. Wow, how did he manage to get four? Gone. Keon White's open over the middle. He's got nobody around him. He shakes off two, and he is in the end zone real quick. Real quick. ODU is up 7 nothing. Let's go. It's big. And that's going to be a big tone setter. Thomas Evans off the corner. Gets him in the backfield for a four-yard loss. Yes, and that is going to be a three and out. The old Dominion defense stands strong. Open over the middle. Keon White burning him big, and he's still on his feet. This dude is having a game today. Keon White, 48 more yards. And we are rolling once again. I see you circle. He's open. Robert Mayo. And he's in for a score. Robert Mayo making things of his own. Did we think that this game was going to go this way? It's 14 nothing. Let's go. Yeah, he's, he's going to have to avoid the, the hit there. He'll get eight. Make it second and short. Uh, Deion Jones gives him a hit. But Jeremy Smith will drag him down after 24. And Blake Ashley's getting in the backfield. We are putting this run game, the traditional run game, to ease, to bed, to nothing. And it's a screen. And Virginia Tech's going to pick up a first down. That's kind of not what we wanted there. It didn't diagnose the screen early enough at all. And Aaron Banks thunks him in the backfield. Terrell Lawrence is going to get credited with it. Third and 12. And McLeese is going to pick up. Oh, man. This third down halfback. Cheese. There you go. Aaron Banks. One-handed. Throws down Jalen Holston. And he's going to break up through the middle. I'm picking up a first and goal. Jalen Holson says, nah, two yards in the back. I'll take 16 yards forward. And James Valet the third says, no way. You're going to have to do a little better than that. The traditional run game is being thwarted real heavy. Come on, Aaron Banks. Yes, and he drags him down. That's going to be a sack. And Old Dominion. They go from giving up seven to maybe only giving up three. Oh my god, you, you drop. He drops the second and seven. But he'll pick up the third and seven. Don't worry about it. He's over 100 yards. Jeez. There you go. Bill Stanford shaking off one. He'll pick up seven in the process. 
And that's gonna get swatted down. And maybe we're looking at a punt. I don't know. Where are we at? 49? You know what? Let's see if we can catch him out. That's a little long for a field goal. TVH. Let's see if we can catch these guys out. And it's swatted down at the line and turnover. I'm literally surprised he was that open. There you go, Blake. And this dude's shaking off all these hits. Ezekia? Ezekia, okay. Well, that's, that's just how we'll go. Oh, uh, Deion Jones just missed him. Uh, that was well read. And that's going to be a fourth down. Is that another stop? That's big if it is. And it's going to get stopped. What a turnover. Deshaun McLeese had a lane. He stutter stepped. And that put it into that. What a big stop by this ODU defense. And he's going to get taken down for a sack. Joe Joe Hedden getting in there from his linebacker position, making the transition from corner. And he will pick up a sack and it'll be fourth down. We'll run it, I guess. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go, and he puts no, it on the ground, of God. course. No, God, please, no, no! And no. Stanford having to come across. No. And uh, drag him down. It's a bad time for a turnover like that. But those things happen. Yeah, I saw him just get that step. There's that. Virginia Tech takes the fumble and turns it into points. It's now 14 to 10. A minute and a half to go. And nobody was open. And we'll take the sack. Doyle's open over the middle, you but that's suck. into pressure yeah, and it's jackass. kicked off a bad throw. And there you go. Virginia Tech's going to have great field position take their second turnover of the day and do some work with it. And, oh, Curtis Potts. He is bound and determined to make up for last week. Getting burned a couple times. There you go. This run is going nowhere. It's a screen. Charles Barber. He's going to get him short. It'll set up possibly a last second kick here. And kick is up, it's good. Going into halftime, Old Dominion has stumbled, but they maintain the lead, 14-13. And it's gonna be thrown deep. Mayo grabs it out of the air. Positions his body just right, 42 yards and a first. There you go, Noah Elias and grab a first down. First and goal, Old Dominion's driving again. There you go, Bill Stanford's gonna drive forward. He's inside the five to the two. Let's see if we can give it to him one more time here to push it through. He's got one man to beat. That man's blocked up. Stanford drags the man through the end zone. He's in, touchdown. Old Dominion back on top by seven. Pending the extra point to make it eight. There you go, Jeremy Smith. Come on. And McKee. McLee's nothing. Terrell Lawrence, welcome to the party, sir. Your second tackle of the day. Both for loss. And it's a screen. Jordan Young's right on him this time, but... He's too far out in front. It's fourth and one. Deshaun McLeese gets stopped short. Doesn't matter. 
Over the middle, I saw Noah Elias in late. He'll grab first down and some space, 20 yards. And I know someone's going to cover. And no one's going to cover him? Okay. Well, then, <laughs> Cleveland, he's going to be off to the races on the slants. Just keep running. He's down inside the 10. We almost have 300 passing yards. Wow. They brought the house, and we burned up Mike Cleveland. Big game. Uh, yep. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. Should just ran. Touchdown to potentially getting absolutely nothing. Clooney gets those yards back. It'll be third and goal from the 10. Just go, Williams. He's going to break free to the end zone. Wow, what a recovery. Tommy Williams on the score. Just beats out the defender with the legs. I'm sure, if that was Isaiah Spencer last year, that would have been a sack. What a change. That's just amazing. <laughs> All Dominion up 28 to 13. You know, this is a team that is catching all the breaks today for sure here you go Curtis Potts even though he did get beat on the coverage he was right there on the guy that's what I like to see uh uh Jojo Hedden says no way Deshaun McCleese stuffed in the backfield again he is sitting at three rush yards this entire day uh, yep. Oh, wait. He's not going to get it, but they're going to get it anyway. He didn't get it on the field. It's a face mask. <sighs> That's a killer, too, because he was short. You didn't need to do the face mask there, Steve Nelson. But, oh, well. Guys, this is a phenomenally reloaded number six team in the country that is no longer ranked, and it is showing today as Old Dominion is Putting it to Virginia Tech, 28-13, going into the final quarter. There you go, Jordan Young on the QB spy. That's what we have him in there for. Six yards only. Yeah, Blake kind of got stumbled there on a block. Deshaun McLeese, he's going to pick up a first down, 14 yards. Hey, Nelson. Oh, he got shook off. Young's going to trip him up, though. Limit him to three. And it's a screen. Blake Ashley is there, and he's going to string him out in the backfield. The screen backfires, and it's fourth down. Let's get this old Dominion fan base fired up here at Lane Stadium. And that's super short. That's going to be a turnover. But it was the only option available. And that's going to be a turn of all Dominion. He has the ball. I'm ready for the dagger throw. There he is. Cleveland's got it. He zips forward 22 yards and a first down. He's got 87 on the day on just two receptions. There you go. Stanford brushes off one. He'll push forward for four. Makes it third and six. And, I mean, if you're not going to cover cover the guy on the underneath, we'll hit you for 10. Pick up a first down. Yeah, I should probably just throw that one away. There really wasn't anybody open. The only reason I say that is because... Actually, I'm not. Cleveland snags it. They'll give him the spot. Even though it's a very debatable spot. And Doyle's wide open. Snuck behind the coverage. Made him fall asleep. The very last second. He took a hit though. Delivers a dot. And it's first and goal. He shakes off a would-be tackler. He's still on his feet and gets sacked. Could not get away from the pressure. Them from getting in, having all their timeouts here. Having enough. It's fourth and goal. We did our job. Wish we would have gotten the touchdown, but we'll take the three.
Hold it down, kick is up. That's dead center. Easy kick for Nick Rice. It's good. Michigan State outlasts Houston 27 to 20 as it's the year of the Williams at quarterback today. Actually, that's my quarterback. <laughs> that's my quarterback. <laughs> Just realized that. I'm like, wait a minute. S. Williams Jr. Wait a second. That's mine. <laughs> See? See what you get ahead, Steve? You're gonna be the man. You're gonna be the man, but no? No? And oh, it's almost picked off! Elijah Blue just doesn't have the hands. He was there. It was perfect in his hands. One Heisman hopeful to just over 100 yards passing through three quarters and Five and a half minutes is something. It's a screen. I didn't see it till it's too late. Smith decks Deshaun McLeese, but they're in bounds. They're going to have to keep going. Curtis Potts. He knocks it out. What a man. There you go. on. Deshaun McLeese has not had the day at all. I feel like that's just kind of a... And that's hit and down. That's gonna do it, guys. That's a big W. And that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is final. 31-13. Old Dominion after a strong first quarter. Shows the world what it is to be where they are and they will start 2 and 0 back to back rivals wins we knocked off the leading Heisman candidate he should not be getting up there again after the showing today player of the game Tommy Williams 14 to 22 377 yards several scores player stats on the day Tommy Williams 14 to 22 he came on late. Came on real late, did real well. He was like 6 of 14 at one point. So for him to finish the way he did, uh, we owe it to him there. Two touchdowns pick. He did get sacked five times. Uh, but that is just due to the, you know, the top ACC defense. Bill Stanford, not a big game at all. 15 attempts, 43 yards score. Tommy Williams had another one, converted a massive third down. Uh, he did fumble once. Noah Eliason uh, and company led the way. Three receptions, 64 yards. Robert Mayo, three for 76. Mike Cleveland, three for 108. That dude, he's a man. Keon White, three for 102 in a score. And then Doyle off his big week last week. Only one catch. And that's just due to the matchups. Um, I'd expect next game uh, he'll do a lot better. Uh, defensively, Aaron Banks led the way with five tackles, two for loss. Steve Nelson, four tackles. Jeremy Smith, four tackles. We had two sacks today, one by JoJo, one by Aaron Banks, and we had a lone def deflection by Elijah Blue. Um, very good defense all around. Take a look at the team stats, more or less. Covering what Virginia Tech did. They only had 210 yards total offense. 71 of which was on the ground. And 30, 139 of it was through the air. And that's just impressive to hold the number one Heisman candidate to 139 yards passing. The Monarchs stun Blacksburg. It's big enough. That's right. Old Dominion travels to Blacksburg. Knock off their rival Virginia Tech. Can already see people hopping on the Old Dominion bandwagon. Great win. It's been there, coach. We've had big wins like that before, so this is nothing new. Alrighty, guys. Next week, it is going to be Mississippi State. We look to keep this roll of good luck going 
as we travel home for our first game in Foreman Field. Anyway, my, my name is Red Guys. If you guys like what you see and want to see more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and the bell to make sure that you guys can see my videos when they come out. And if you like the video, make sure you just smash that like button. That's cool. I just love bringing this stuff out for you guys. Anyway, that'll go ahead and do it for this video. My name is Red, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Dominion's got an interception. He doesn't get any blockers, though. There we go. That's a big interception from Jeremy Smith.